What's going on guys? We're back and you know what? We're finally here to discuss and again some of these videos may be late because I'm finally doing uh, reviews on new shows that started or new seasons of something that just started and right now we're going to be talking about the Winchesters, the brand new prequel spinoff of the Supernatural hit series phenomenon. You guys know first off that I love Supernatural. Supernatural is between my favorite slash I mean, I love the show. I do. I love the show, and I'm very happy that they are exploring the characters more of Mary Winchester and Mary and Sam, Mary and of course John Winchester. Now, I will say this: <clears throat> a lot of people may like it, may not like it, because I like it because they are changing a lot of things. Honestly, let me go ahead and say this: for those of you saying, "Oh, well, this ain't what we know," and all this that, you guys got to remember, there are angels involved in this series or the world of supernatural. So, how do we know that first off, that Mary and John's minds were not wiped more than once? You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> the way this episode goes is Jensen Dean is, you know, Jensen is returning as Dean. He's narrating how, of course, his parents met, what happened, what he apparently knows. John comes back from the war. He meets Mary, of course, out of a theater, which was told in the series. And then later, he supposedly got a letter from his dad that was the Men of Letters. And we actually get to finally meet John's mom, who apparently they owned and ran a mechanic shop. And that's how he knows so much about mechanic work. And then, of course, how him and Mary officially met because of them trying to fight a demon. And then, of course, we meet other characters that go into the fray of, you know, we got Carlos, who is a hunter. We have one Millie that's another, uh, apparently that's another hunter. And then Lakita, she's another uh, witcher hunter. And basically, we have all the th same things, you know, how to deal with demons. But again, this is in the 70s, so it's going to be a little different. But what's really cool about this is, again, we're seeing different lines where we see a Chupacabra for the first time, which, again, we only heard about from the different stories that Dean and Sam told about uh, his family. And then, of course, about them learning about each other and then John trying to find more about his dad. Now, again, I think at this time, uh, John uh, John's father may have gone through a portal or I may have been knocked out by Abaddon at this point, because I think at that moment in time, that's when Abaddon revealed herself to be possessing that woman that uh, John's father cared about. So again, I think that is what happened to him at this point. So I think he is at this point. And also we're going to be seeing a young Samuel, uh, you know, who is, of course, Mary's father, which is going to be played by Tom Welling, which is awesome. I think that's great casting as well. And I'm just going to say this. I do have a lot of faith in this series because, of course, we got Jensen that is directing as well as his wife. So I think with between the both of them, this series is in very good hands. And we're going to be seeing a lot of different things with the Winchesters that we have probably I've always wanted to see, maybe wanted to see. And then also one of the questions I know is burning in my mind is, okay, is Dean saying all this while he's in heaven? Or was this at some point while he was still alive and he was not around Sam? Or what was going on? You know, was he telling us this story at some point when he was in heaven? Or when he was somehow, you know, whatever. Again, there's no really no way of knowing right now because of, of course, the way we all know Supernatural can go just by the way that they are writing it. So, again, it's going to be very interesting to see. And we're just going to have to wait and see. Again, I have faith in the series. I have faith in them. I have faith by the people that are behind it. I love Supernatural. I love the actors from Supernatural. And they're not, I don't think they're going to mess this up. So again, I enjoyed it. it. It kept very much the same tone between the music, the thriller, the action, the horror, the comedy based. Uh, you could tell that the characters... Uh, the actors that are playing the young Mary and young uh, John that they are really imitating, uh, you know, their, you know, descendants, you know, Dean and Sam, you know, there's moments you can see Mary acts like Dean and acts like Sam, same thing with John, you can see with that and then her wanting to get out of the life already, you know, she's already brought it up in the first episode and that's what Mary wanted, you know, she wanted to be out of the life, she wanted a normal life, that's what Sam wanted, that's what Dean wanted at one point and then John, you know, he, he wanted a purpose, he wanted more of a purpose than what he was given when he was in the military and I'm liking the way it's going and I'm hoping that we can continue this story and, you know, just, that's just the way I feel about it, guys. 
But what do you guys think about the Winchesters thus far? Are you guys impressed? Are you guys disappointed? Or you want to see more? What theories you have? Please let me know. I'm probably going to be doing more reviews on it very soon. But I just want to get my first thoughts out there. But overall, what, we, what are your overall thoughts about this theory thus far? Are you happy, disappointed, excited, thrilled? What do you guys think? Please let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoy your day. And as always, I've seen you on the very next one.